Where are you? Can you call me back, please? I'm going off me nut here. Anything? I've looked everywhere. The barrel store, the cars there. She's nowhere to be seen. She'll be back, you know, else. She's probably just nipped out for something. Mick. Go and find her. You sure you don't want something stronger? <laughs> don't tempt me. <laughs> right, so come on then. What's happened? I don't want to impose, you know. No, Phil's out. To get a takeaway, he said. Well, you don't believe him? Well, I've got an idea where he's gone. To see some old mate of his. A and you're okay with that, him lying to you? Well, it ain't lying if you both know the truth. <laughs> so what's Mick done? Hmm? I thought she'd gone. For good. Got herself a fiance, new life. Least she could do is get the hell out of mine. We even threw her a leaving party. Whitney. She's back. Well, it doesn't sound like the end of the world to me. He had his arms around her. And? Well, not for the first time. Well, she was upset. <sighs> and she came to see you? Yeah. Right. Don't tell me that he loves me. Well, he does. Well, then why do I feel like this? Well, are you worried he's still got feelings for her? No. No, I know that he doesn't. But there's just something, and it won't go away. Because mm. you won't let go. Look, Linda, whatever happens, you have to deal with it. Phil's ex lives in the square. You know, mother to his kid. Every time I go in that cafe, I could drive myself mad, thinking, once upon a time he loved her, and then once upon a time he chose her. But I don't. I can't change the past. But I can make sure it don't wreck our future. You know your trouble, don't you? Oh, mm. Go on, tell me. You and Mick have had it too good for too long. You know, never a moment of doubt. Perfect relationship. I don't know anyone who's ever had that. Then to what you are feeling is normal. And so what if your husband fancies someone else? You're making it sound like a big deal, like a teenager. No, I'm not. Yeah, like a sport teenager. Because you never had to face anything like it before. Do you know what, sweetheart? That's what real life's like. Hmm? Sharon? Oh, don't answer it. Sharon? Can't find her anywhere. Her mother, she's not answering the blower. There's no think she's gone to Watford, dear. She's been here, isn't she? Maybe. Where is she? Nick, why did you let Whitney back in the pub? She was crying her eyeballs out. What was I supposed to do? Kick her out? Well, she's not your responsibility. She is, though, isn't she? Because it ain't just Woody that took a liberty with her. If Lee would have treated her right, she wouldn't be in this state. No, that's not your fault. He's my boy. I didn't bring him up that way. Yeah, well, he's Linda's boy, too. Look, Mick, are you sure there's nothing going on between the two of you? No feelings whatsoever, no what-ifs floating around in your head. No. Look, Mick, you can be honest with me. Come on, the truth. Never to leave this room. Sorry, is this some sort of counselling session? Or... The truth, Mick. 